Have you ever had your team come to you with a video idea that's so crazy you wanna cover your face? Well, that's kind of what we got today. As seen on TV versus Orbeez. And you will not believe what we're gonna do with this later. So those of y'all that don't remember, we poured 50,000 Orbeez down the drain of this sink a while back. It was actually all tied together, but we showed you how they swell, how they expand, and how it clogs up. Now, those of y'all that saw that video know a big thing that people have problems with in their drains are pasta, eggshells, potato skins, things like that. Anything that gets sticky and can get stuck in the drain. So my team came up with this idea. What if we fill a drain with Orbeez, let it swell up, and then take an As Seen On TV product and see if it works as well as they say it will? Hang around to the end and you'll see what we're gonna do with that piece of paper with my beautiful face on it. So what we're gonna try out today is Plumber's Hero. Plumber's Hero, the one product plumbers don't want you to see. Just press and unclog the mess. What if we filled up the drain with Orbeez, then brought in Plumber's Hero to try and blow it out? Thought that might be a pretty cool idea. So what we did, we took apart the kitchen sink here. We're gonna redo the piping just to hook it up like a single drain. We're gonna pour Orbeez in it. We're gonna pour water in it. We're gonna let it fill up and then we're gonna see if this will blow it out. Let's start rebuilding the sink and get it ready for this. Okay, so as you see, we've got the kitchen sink drain pipe taken apart. So this would normally come down, go into a T, this would drop down, come across into it, and then have the P-trap under there. So what we're gonna do a little different in this one, we're gonna come straight down on the tailpiece, then we're gonna put our clear P-trap in. And then we've got a bucket. Well, they told me that we're not shooting it into the bucket today. So let's see what we end up with. Let's go ahead and start putting this together. Right here, you've got your tailpiece. Now, if we were out in the field, I'd have on safety glasses, I've had on gloves, I'd have everything on. Right here, I know that this is just me in here playing around. All this is solid. I know it's never been used. I know we're not gonna have any problems or anything like that. So I just wanna make sure that I get it together nice and tight so that it doesn't come apart. Now this configuration is exactly what it looks like under a lavatory sink. This configuration, your tailpiece comes down, maybe you got your pop-up assembly back here, but literally it comes down straight into your J-band, which comes around, comes across, and goes in to your P-trap. So we're gonna finish putting all that together because this is the assembly like you would have under just about any kitchen sink or any lavatory. So we wanted to put it together just like you've got it at home. Now what we're gonna do with this, we're literally gonna pour the Orbeez in, we're gonna let the Orbeez fill this thing up, then we're gonna add water and let them swell and expand. A lot of times that's what happens with a kitchen drain or maybe even a lavatory. You may get a lot of hair, a lot of sludge, a lot of things like that, and Plumber's Hero says, look, we can just blow that drain right out. Just press and unclog the mess. Anyway, let's get this all poured in, put together, and get it ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour the Orbeez down the drain. First, of course, I'm gonna pull off the stopper, and here we go. What if I just drank them? I'm not that crazy. All right, so we have literally emptied the whole thing in here. And as you see, it didn't come up very high down here, but you can bet there's a lot of them in this tube. So you know that when we pour the water in, it's gonna start swelling up into the top, and it's probably gonna start swelling here and pushing them out the drain. That is normally what would happen with pasta or anything like that. If it keeps getting wet and keeps swelling, it's just gonna push further in, and it's gonna push wider so it clogs in. Now, we're doing this with Orbeez, and As Seen TV is gonna try to solve the problem. Let's see if it works. So I look down in the top of the drain right here, and you can actually see the Orbeez are all the way up to here. This is gonna be interesting to see what they do when they swell and how it goes. We got about 32 ounces of water right here. We're gonna pour it in the sink and let it go down. And of course, it's not getting in there fast, but you can see down at the bottom, water's starting to fill up the Orbeez. It's staying up in here. Water level's around and up to here now, so these are gonna start swelling and eventually they're gonna swell and push it out here. So let's give it 30 minutes to an hour. Let's see what it does, and we'll come back and check on it, and then we're ready for Plumber's Hero. So it's been an hour and 15 minutes, and as you see, 
it hasn't pushed the Orbeez up and out. But here's what's funny. It did push them up in here. Water's actually still standing in here, but now the Orbeez are swelling and coming up in here. I'll tell you what, come over here and look at that. You, camera, come here. Yeah. Check that out. Okay, so see, this is what would happen is as things start swelling up in there, it'll push water back up in the thing, and that's what it'll look like. Now we're gonna try the Plumber's Hero on it, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this little adapter and put it in there, and that actually gives us a rubber seal to use in the basket strainer. But first, we need a target. So remember, I told you, hang around, this good looking face would come in handy later. What we're gonna do, we're literally gonna aim the P-trap straight at this beautiful mug and see when we use the Plumber's Hero, if we can shoot the Orbeez out just like it would supposedly shooting them out through the drain. Remember though, it's your house. When you push stuff in further, it's just going further into the drain. Now there's nothing wrong with that. That's what a hydrojetter does. It blows forward and kind of pushes and breaks things up, but it also rinses out and supplies enough water behind it. So anytime you use something like that, remember, don't just push it through, turn the water on and flush it. Make sure you've got enough water going to actually wash it out. Now we're gonna go over here to the board and put this up. So like I told you, we've already put this in here. I'm gonna read the directions. Why would I do that? We are getting ready to go, so of course, Anytime there's things flying around and you have eyeballs involved, make sure you've got your safety glasses on. All right, ready? Here we go. It didn't even move them. Okay, so great for the safety glasses, a few water spots. As you see, I got a little wet. First time I pushed it down in there, it literally blew it back up. So we're going to a bigger seal, make sure it's on here good, and we're gonna turn this thing over and we're gonna do it again. I don't think the Orbeez have moved. Now, we've done it twice, and I'll even go back to the other. Okay, so made for TV versus Orbeez. Guys, Orbeez are clearly winning. Okay, we've kind of broken their deal because we've pushed on it three times and the little plastic on the inside is broken. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going back to the big plunger to see if it'll give me a better seal. And I'm putting this down inside of it. And actually pushing it down in there really far. That way I know it's as far in as it'll go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this over and push it in and got it right where it goes because you want the little hole in there to point right down in the middle. All right, everything's lined up where we're going. Thank God it says you've got 20 shots here. We've done three and it hadn't moved at all. Here we go. Okay, I gotta tell you, plumber's hero ain't no hero of mine. I mean, you think about this, guys. You never know what's backed up in your sink, whether it's your lavatory, whether it's your kitchen sink, whatever it is. We've done this three times now. Don't get me wrong, this is cold. You wanna freeze a beer? This may be a good tool to have. But, plumber's hero, unstopping a drain, guys, I think you can see Orbeez won. Now my glasses are cold and it's a little warm in here. No, actually it's cold, but not this cold. The plastic lid on it broke on the second time. So literally it's just kind of hard to line it up and get it to do anything else. As you can see, you get a good shot of air there. Maybe I hold it upside down, it'll get a better shot. And we had the rubber in place. Everything should have sealed off great. All I can say about this is look, as seen on TV versus Orbeez, mm, Orbeez kicked its tail. The good thing is this may work for something. It says open drains instantly. I think we saw that didn't happen. Just press and unclog the mess. No harmful liquid residue, fresh orange scent. Man, I'm not, I don't even know where to go there. So guys, here's the bad thing about this. Say that there were some chemicals in there. Say somebody had tried using a liquid drain cleaner and then they brought this out. You've got to be very careful because that coming up in your eyes. Now remember, luckily for me, I went and put my safety glasses on, but it's because you never know what's gonna happen. That could be very dangerous about a product like this. There's a lot of air there and whatever's in that sink could blow back up on you. Now, maybe it's just soured water. Maybe you've poured milk down it. Maybe there's something funky in there that you really don't wanna get all over your shirt. So be very careful. Maybe wear rubber gloves if you know there's chemicals and stuff like that in there and definitely wear your safety glasses.
I do have one other thing that we'll try, but that'll be in another video. The one thing, the good thing, the best thing about this whole thing, the good looking guy on the wall, we didn't mess up his face today. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. We'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.